Jeff Nelson suing Chantal Robert for calling my What? Whoa! Damn! That is some fucking epic shit. I have been uh, hung over and shit. And, um, and every time that I am awake, I'm usually just doing this sort of shit. So, I need you to fill me in. What the fuck's going on, man? <coughs> oh, pardon me. <laughs> pardon me. Um, wow. That is some fucking insane shit. Chantal Robin. It is fresh news. It definitely is fresh news. I did pop over to a Martin Lewis stream. Uh, before I did this, and the only reason I started doing this is because he said that he wanted to uh, fuck off and he was going to leave. I don't know if he's still streaming or not, but um, I isn't Chantal Robin like that's not even their real name. It's just some fucking troll, isn't it? Because they were hanging around when my all my internet drama happened. And I was, like, leading them on. I'm like, yep, Jeff Nelson is the reason why I'm here. And he controls Order 66 and just saying all this bullshit. Jeff Nelson is trying to sue a troll. Well, Chantal Robin, isn't that? They, they, they're a troll. They're not a personality. They're not a face. They have no face. I've checked out their channel and it's just fucking editing. You know, videos that have been edited, but they, they have no say in it. And uh, everything that they say is, you know, typed out in the message of the texts, texts of things. You know, basically they're not coming on camera and saying anything. And, and they, but they do go around, that Chantal Robin does go around blaming fucking Jeff Nelson. Like, and there's a lot of Jeff Nelson videos on that person's channel. I wouldn't be surprised if it's a dude, you know, just going under a fucking name. Oh, they're pretty fucking slanderous. They are pretty slanderous. Like, every time this Order 66 shit got mentioned, and uh, when, when Martin Lewis was having his war with us, uh, that Chantal Robin person was fucking right up there in the, right up there, blaming it all on Jeff. And, um... And I guess this Chantal Robin vegan person just feels that Jeff Nelson's out there the fucking uh, go against the whole vegan community, the online one, really. And yeah. We probably did take so much because this person has been after them for so fucking long. And they have videos out there saying that Jeff Nelson was trying to destroy the vegan community as early as the 1990s. So the, the 90s fucking vegan community, which I don't even know existed, um, he, he's been doing it for a long time, apparently. I don't know what the hell is... I, I don't even know shit about this Jeff Nelson guy. But if he is what uh, everything that fucking uh, Chantal Robin says he is, he'd probably love me. Ah, I think she's only got like under a thousand or something. Yeah, she's under the a thousand mark. Or he is, you know. They're faceless. They're like the other dude in here. Faceless troll. So, who fucking knows? Yeah, I remember Jonas was getting blamed for that shit. What? Suing Chantal sounds epic as fuck. Well, I'm pretty sure Jeff Nelson is a fucking troll there. At the end of the day. I mean, employing fucking vegan cheater. When I say employing, I don't mean he actually... Oh, suing Chantal sounds epic as fuck to me. Yeah. When I read that... It, it, uh, and is he suing Martin Lewis? Like, Martin Lewis has been going through a lot of bullshit lately, man. Like, fucking hell. His channel gets taken down. 
So he has no form of income anymore. Now he's getting sued by Jeff Lewis or Jeff Nelson. Shit. Just getting fucking epic over here. Uh, getting fucking uh, investigated by the Australian Cybercrime Network or some shit like that. Which isn't gonna happen. If anything, fucking, um, what's his name? Blue Wren, aka Christopher Lojuano, or something like that. Christopher, he's getting fucking done first because I had everybody who likes my shit um, go and report him to, to that, to that fucking, uh, network, I guess. Fucking hell, I got the hiccups again. <sighs> yeah. So there's a lot of fucking shit going on right now. And I think it's... <laughs> uh, okay, no, so Blue Ring put a report out on me, Ghostface, and Weezy. To the uh, Acorn. And Acorn's like Australia's cybercrime blah 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 network. Go look up Acorn Australia. And you'll figure it out. And then you'll see it from there. And he, um, oh, it's acorn.gov.au. And then, so he reported us to that. So, I got everybody to, like, go and report him. To the same agency. And his one fucking report. Now there's eight people who have reported him. <laughs> eight. There's eight people. Including all the females that he's harassed. With all the information that, all, all the harassing that he's done to all these females, and with all the proof. And let's just say that somebody else got in there a little bit too. His name was Matowix. And Matowix, if you know who Matowix is, he's the big, he's the big time guy. He, he fucking knows his shit. So Matowix reported him. Blue Ren is a little bitch. Actually, he's my bitch. I've been fucking toying with him since day one. Do you not? Do you, does anyone even remember the stream where Blue Ren came into my stream and I fucking just like completely owned his ass and made him look like an absolute fucking fool? Does anyone remember that? Because that shit was goddamn hella. Whoa, did I just say that word? That shit was goddamn excellent. That was some pretty fucking epic ownage. Well, I started going around and, you know, just doing my thing. And then he came in and I just fucking owned his ass. And made him look like a fucking complete idiot. And he had to fucking rage quit. <laughs> like, he's like, oh, I'm not sticking around here anymore. And he just fucking left. Own the shit out of fucking Blue Ren. Classic. Of course I would. <sighs> good times, good times. Sounds pretty standard. Yes. The discussion was about veganism and how I was making it really bad and I was ruining veganism for everybody. Because I was ruining veganism at that point. I still am. Hey. People want to pay me attention. I'm feeding off it. You know, if they just, just quit. And they just started ignoring me. And just completely never discussed me. And if my name didn't come up. They were like, ah, let's not talk about him. This would have ended a lot. What the fuck? This whole thing would have ended a long time ago. But no, they had to keep paying me attention and then running my name through the fucking dirt. So, 